welcome back to my channel. I am at the very end now of my pregnancy and I thought it would be fun to do a little roundup of all of my favorite pregnancy essentials that I've used the most. Things that have really helped to keep me comfortable and feel taken care of. So if you are also pregnant or if you're planning to be pregnant in the future or maybe you're just curious about pregnancy, then hopefully this video will be helpful and give you some good inspiration and ideas. The first thing on my list and something that is so important for me when it comes to sleep is a good pregnancy pillow. It's pretty large, so I'm gonna pop in a picture of it here so you guys can see, but I love this for placing between my knees to take some pressure off of my lower back. And I think it also just helps to create more space in your hips and also for the baby. They say that it's really important during pregnancy that you avoid laying on your back for a long period of time. So they suggest primarily laying on your left side as this promotes the most optimal blood flow to both you and your baby. And I feel like when you have a pregnancy pillow, it's just kind of that reminder to be on your side. And it just feels so like snuggly and cozy to lay with it. The one that I have is from BB Hug Me. I highly, highly recommend it. The cover is washable and it's also made of this really nice like soft kind of bean bag material. So it's very conformative to your shape and it just feels ultra, ultra amazing to sleep with. My next pregnancy essential is a really great prenatal vitamin and just, I would say, good nutrition in general, good supplements, making sure that you're really supporting your body nutritionally throughout pregnancy and taking a good prenatal vitamin is so so important for that the one that I found it to be the most comprehensive in terms of ingredients and quality is the one from ritual this is their essential for women prenatal and this contains 12 key nutrients for before and during pregnancy and some of those include folate magnesium iron which is a really important one omega-3 DHA I've taken a few different ones throughout my pregnancy but the reason I like this the most is that I find that it's the most gentle on my stomach which is a huge thing when you're pregnant making sure that you're not putting too much pressure and just too many irritating things in your stomach is really important and the reason for that is actually because it has a delayed release capsule so this dissolves later in the small intestine so not in your actual stomach so you can take them with or without food and again it just allows them to be a lot more gentle on your stomach so if you're experiencing nausea especially in the first trimester these are very very gentle on your stomach and folate or folic acid is one of the most important things that you need to think about when you're pregnant because that is what is responsible for a lot of the neural and brain development of the baby but actually one-third of the population has a genetic variation that prevents them from utilizing folic acid properly so that's why Ritual uses methylated folate to bypass this genetic variation so you can be assured that you're actually getting in that folate that is really important for the development of the baby's brain. And Ritual just in general is such a well-researched vitamin company. Everything is super transparent on their website. They do also have a very convenient subscription service which delivers your supplements every 30 days. And also if you're not happy with Ritual for whatever reason, your first order is on them. But I think you guys are really going to love them. And they've been so kind to offer a code for you guys if you want to try this out. The code is N. 20 for 20% 20 off your first month. So that goes for the prenatals if you're pregnant or you want to be pregnant, but they do also have other multivitamins like their multivitamin 18 plus, a 50 plus one, a postnatal one, one for men, one for kids. So definitely check them out. I will have the information and links to this prenatal down below in the description box. My third pregnancy essential is something that I used so much throughout the beginning first trimester. This really helped me a lot with my nausea and that is firstly some ginger drops that I would put in my water. I went through a lot of these and ginger is something that is 
proven to be effective against nausea and it's been something that's been used for hundreds and probably thousands of years. Another thing that I love and swear by so much even now is essential oils. So ones that are very calming and soothing. I have a few different ones here. These are all blends of different oils but I believe the main ones are things like lavender, maybe some eucalyptus as well. Oh, so, so good. I just love calming essential oils, especially for when you have nausea, just sniffing it or putting it on your pulse points before bed or in the morning. It's just really, really relaxing and I found them to be like a really great natural way to cope with nausea. I do have a full first trimester recap and also second trimester recap that I will have linked below. If you want to know more details about how my um, first trimester went and more tips and things like that, I will have it linked for you down below. My next pregnancy essential is definitely having some comfy clothing that you feel really good in with your growing belly. I've actually gone throughout most of my pregnancy just in normal clothes, but there are a few like maternity specific clothing items that I reached for over and over again that were so worth it. The first one is a pair of joggers. These are from H&M and they have this big um, belly band here in the front and they're in this nice like neutral soft beige uh, color. I have worn these so, so much. They've been my favorite joggers. I will probably bring these to the hospital as part of my going home outfit. In terms of like workout shorts and things like that, I actually have not gotten a pair of maternity workout shorts. I found two pairs of shorts that have been very, very comfortable. The first is from Lululemon. They are the Align shorts and I got these in a size bigger than what I normally have. So these are in a size eight. I'm pretty sure I was wearing a size six before. And because of the material of these, they're so, so soft. If you guys have not tried the Align from Lululemon, they are like butter. Because the material is really nice and soft and stretchy, it just fits perfectly over a growing bump. I feel like I will still be able to wear these after um, pregnancy. That was something like that I wanted to make sure when I became pregnant and during my pregnancy is that I'm not getting lots and lots of things that I just won't be able to wear afterwards since pregnancy is just, you know, for nine months. So the Lululemon Align shorts in one size up have been amazing. I also have these from Fabletics that I love. These are from their Pure Luxe line. Very, very similar fabric to the Lululemon. Super buttery soft and has a really nice stretch to them. And I also get these in a one size bigger uh, since being pregnant. I've also found them to be really comfortable and supportive. I use these for my workouts, for my Pilates, my stretching, but also just for like out and about on my walks, running errands. I think a good pair of um, biker shorts like this are just such an essential for pregnancy. I also love that like little extra support that it provides your belly with. And also for comfy clothes, I would definitely say just some really great dresses that are, for me, I really like the ones that are more fitted on the top and then flow out or these kind of bodycon dresses that I have on today that have a little bit of ruching on the side. I feel like that is very flattering and super cute for a bump. That's been a huge pregnancy essential as well. And then one of the most important things if we're going to talk about comfy clothing is comfy big underwear. <laughs> My hips have gotten wider and there's just more in need of coverage when you're pregnant like your lower belly obviously gets bigger and comfort is so so important for me during pregnancy so i ended up getting lots of new underwear throughout my pregnancy that are cotton breathable stretchy and just ones that don't cut off my circulation anywhere so that i stay really comfortable on that note as well of underwear i know this might be a bit tmi but panty liners panty liners and good comfortable underwear is definitely such a pregnancy essential for me. I think if you've been pregnant before, you know, you, know, you just have more activity going on there. So you want to stay comfortable and hygienic and, you know, good feeling. So I think 
a thin panty liner to wear with your bigger underwear during pregnancy. I think that is very important. My next pregnancy essential is a birthing ball or a pregnancy yoga ball. I love this so much for stretching with, sitting on, bouncing on, just helping to open up my hips, especially throughout these last few weeks of pregnancy. I've been using this a lot. You can use this in place of a regular chair and it just feels really good on your lower back, on your pelvis, on your hips it's really great for the baby as well to help the baby find a good position you can also use this during labor I will have a few videos linked down below that I watched on how to properly use a birthing ball or a pregnancy ball yoga ball you just want to make sure that you get a size that is in a good relation to your height there is a chart that you can look at and follow based on how tall you are and yeah I've just been loving using this in the mornings when I do my stretching and also just during the day to bounce on to sit on and you can actually use this after you have your baby as well by sitting on it and holding your baby and bouncing with your baby on the ball apparently they find that very soothing as well so it's something that has multiple uses My next pregnancy essential is something that i use multiple times per day i would say this is definitely one of the most important things to have for like self-care during pregnancy and that is a good belly cream or belly oil i started out with the necessaire body lotion and the necessaire body serum i've gone through several tubes of these and they're so so nice they've got some really great vitamins and skin nourishing ingredients in the last couple of months i've been really into the mustela this is a specific stretch mark prevention cream it's also fragrance free which i love and the ingredients are 97 percent of natural origins it's also a clean line and of course with stretch marks i think it's important to note that it's mostly a genetic thing if you're gonna have them or not but with that said i think it's always nice to just support your growth skin and make sure you're caring for it by moisturizing and nourishing it and giving it lots of good vitamins and good ingredients so that your skin can grow and stretch with as little tension as possible and also you do get very like itchy because of the growing skin like you can literally feel your skin growing and stretching and just feels really nice to really moisturize that area and care for it I do also like some belly oils from time to time this first one is not a pregnancy specific one but it's one that I've had and it's from Biosons it's the 100% squalane oil I really like that it's a nice lightweight oil it just sinks in I also really like this one from Mada this is their body oil Mada is a specific a pregnancy focused line of products I also had their body butter which is now finished but I'll pop in a picture of it here that was really nice to use as well it's like a thick kind of balm but whatever you choose just make sure that it's something that is really soothing really hydrating and moisturizing and for me i like to use something with cleaner ingredients so that i know it's not going to you know go into the bloodstream and it's so close to the baby as well so just trying to like minimize on unnecessary ingredients i think that's really important i really loved to also gently exfoliate the skin on my stomach because that also helps with collagen growth just as it does for your face so good exfoliation is really important for your body as well but i think especially on a growing belly the one that i've used the most is from mama mio it's their tummy rub scrub and this is really really nice and gentle it's not too abrasive but it really gives you a beautiful exfoliation your skin feels amazing afterwards and then i feel like when you go in with your moisturizer or body serum or oil those ingredients can then really penetrate the skin a lot deeper and have a really good um effect and result on your belly and the scrub i use a few times per week maybe like two or three times and then for the lotion i use this twice a day so once in the morning and once at night my next pregnancy essential is something that is so important and that is to stay hydrated so making sure that you have a good water bottle that you're drinking a lot of water i've also been pregnant a lot throughout the summer so that's been especially especially important but when you're pregnant you just need more hydration there's a lot of amniotic fluid in your belly you have so much more of a blood volume so staying hydrated is really important and one of my favorite things 
to add to my waters are electrolytes and these really help to hydrate your body on a very deep cellular level so using minerals like magnesium potassium and sodium i've tried a few different brands throughout the last few months i really like the ones from peak these are the Betox Fountain Beauty Electrolytes. These also have hyaluronic acid and ceramides in them. Another great one is from Element. I have their raspberry flavor, their citrus salt, their unflavored ones, and there's another one, I think it's called Orange Salt. I've also tried the liquid IV ones, and basically what I do is just take a packet and pour it into a big glass of water. I will usually add half of a lemon to that as well, and just sip on that throughout the afternoon, and I feel like it really helps me to properly quench my thirst okay number eight on my pregnancy essentials list is good prenatal workouts so finding whatever that means to you but having something that you know is safe for both your body and for the baby and just keeping active during pregnancy I did recently make a whole video on this topic specifically so I will have that linked down below for you if you want to check that out but some of my favorites have been the nurse move love channel here on YouTube she has some really incredible prenatal workouts that are more strength focused using weights I also really love the Melissa Wood Health prenatal workouts that are more Pilates and yoga based and then just stretching and walking and making sure that I'm keeping my body you know really flexible and mobile that is just a huge thing that comes to mind when I think about like what have been my pregnancy essentials is just having those workouts and ways of moving my body that I feel have been very supportive throughout the journey of growing this baby, of my body changing. Physically, it's an amazing thing that you can do for yourself and also for your digestion, but also just mentally as an emotional and stress release. It just makes you feel so, so good. It can also help to make you sleep better at night and to avoid like a lot of the common aches and pains that come with pregnancy. Another thing that has been so super essential during my pregnancy is a good digital birth course and just like prep videos in general my two favorite have been the built to birth course by Bridget Taylor and the course by the positive birthing company these have both just eased my mind and taught me so much about labor birth it's all such a new thing that I've obviously never experienced before and there can be a lot of stress and anxiety around that but I feel like once I really started learning about it, educating myself on like what are the proper techniques from breathing to positions to affirmations to meditations and just really like mentally preparing yourself for that has been so empowering for me and has really helped to ease a lot of the tension and the stress that I would sometimes feel around like like labor and birth and all of that and then also just prep videos in general on youtube and just feeling like you can connect with other pregnant moms that's been a huge thing for me so watching like lots of newborn essential videos nursery tours and nursery organizations and just learning about like how to care properly for a baby youtube is just such an incredible space for that it's just nice to be able to connect with other moms even if it's like just for digitally but definitely those two birth courses I would highly highly recommend checking out I will have them linked for you down below in the description box they have been so helpful and so empowering for me and just have made me feel so much more confident and comfortable and ready for a good birth my last pregnancy essential which I use so often as well are my pregnancy apps these have been so fun I would say especially in the very beginning when you are just like what's going on in my body it's so fun to learn about the weekly um, progress that your baby is making so a few of my favorites have been the pregnancy plus app this is really nice because you can like move the baby around and you can see all of its development and it's you know it's face it's kind of like a 3d uh, visual I really loved this app and you can also click on the little information button and it will tell you different things that are happening that that week it also tells you the approximate size of your baby and the weight I also really like the flow app which is one that I was even using before I got pregnant you can also use it just to track your cycle and then the third app that I really like is the what to expect app 
app. This one, I think it's famous for um, comparing how big your baby is with a fruit. And it does also show you a visual of what your baby looks like within your stomach, within your belly, which I always thought is very um, cool as well. And you can flip very easily throughout the weeks and see the changes. And then it does also share like some developmental things that are taking place within the baby as well. So I've really loved to keep up with those apps as well. And every week, you know, it tells you something new. But yeah, those have been a few of my favorite things that I've been using a lot throughout my pregnancy. I will make sure to have a list of everything down below in the description box for you with links. And do let me know if you are also pregnant or if you've been pregnant in the past. You can let us know down below in the comments. So if there's anyone else who is also pregnant, they can check out that list and get more um, helpful ideas and recommendations. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that you're all having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.